Elastic Beanstalk is a really fantastic tool that can help you to manage all of your EC2 instances where you don't even need to go into the AWS Management Console. You can just send it the instructions of what you want and then it's just going to automatically go ahead and create it. As always, there's a trade-off. So with this automation comes less control. You don't get to configure as much, but how good is it to just automate that entire process? That's what Beanstalk is. So let's get into it. How does it work? What are we doing? Off we go. So with normal EC2 instances, you have to go in, you have to configure everything. You have to make sure it's all set up, that you've got the right operating system and everything that you need. But with Elastic Beanstalk, you basically just write down how you want it to be set up in your code. You send it your code and then you don't even need to go through and click all of those different configurations. It's just going to set it up for you automatically. We love it in particular because it handles all of this good stuff here, including adjusting the capacity, handling the load balancing, automating the scaling, and even doing the app health monitoring for you. All this means is that you can just spend more time focusing on your actual app and what you want to build, and you don't have to worry as much about the setup or the maintenance of your EC2 instances. If you're learning this from scratch, I would really encourage you to go through the process of setting up your EC2 instances first, and then do this so that you can actually understand how much work it's doing for you. There's another cool tool on the market, which is the AWS CloudFormation. CloudFormation is a equally cool tool, which doesn't just apply to EC2 instances, it applies to a lot of the other services in AWS as well. If you are a hard programmer and you love using languages like JSON or YAML files, if you don't know what that is, then CloudFormation is probably not gonna be much fun for you at all. But if you do like that, then this is gonna be great because it means that you can set up pretty much any AWS service or tool using JSON or YAML files instead of going in and clicking around and using everything declaratively in the AWS Management Console. One of the main advantages of using CloudFormation is that because you're not limited by having to go in and manually click around, you're kind of writing it down in code, the instructions that you want to, to do in AWS, you can actually start to run things in parallel. This is called parallel provisioning, where you're basically telling AWS to set up a whole bunch of things, and it's going to do them all at the same time in parallel. Some of the best parts about CloudFormation, it's fantastic if you love to code, if you're a code junkie, then you're probably going to prefer this over clicking around in the management console. It does more than just EC2, so databases, services, storage, the whole kind of works. It covers a lot of it for you. It's very fast and it helps to automate the resource provisioning, which is just the creation of resources in AWS. Provisioning is just a fancy word. AWS loves its fancy words and its acronym. All right, thank you so much. Happy learning. See you next time.